Hello and welcome to Beauty by Jen. Today's story is about 19-year-old Alexis Treviso of New Mexico, who has been charged with unaliving her newborn son and discarding him into a trash can. Let me know what you think about this. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. I'm sorry. We discovered a dead baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I came out and to Lexi, I told you. Right now, she's being detained. So she, she's not going to leave from here at all, period. Okay. Um, so I started working her up. Um, we did a pregnancy test on her, showed positive. She was denying that she had sex. Um, then she said she had to go to the bathroom. She went to the bathroom. She was in there for quite a while. We kept knocking on the door. Finally, we got her to open the door, and there was blood everywhere. She was cleaning it up. So we took her back to the room, and there was, I was afraid that she knew she was pregnant. She had done something to herself. Mm -hmm. um, so the doctor started doing an exam on her. We had the lady come to clean the bathroom. She put the baby in the trash can, and then she put another clean liner over the top of it. Oh, wow. Okay. So they looked, when they looked in there, it looked, there was no trash in there, but it was right. underneath the clean bag. The okay. baby's dead, okay? We have him in trauma too, but she killed the kid. Yeah, how old was the, how old was the baby? I don't know, it's full term. She just had it, she had it in the bathroom was what happened. And then she, whatever she did, I don't know, she's gonna lie. She wouldn't tell us she's pregnant. She's been lying the whole time. Okay. So that's what's going on. Um, I just pulled the doctor out of the room, so nothing's been said to the patient or the yeah. mother that's in there yet. Okay. Um, I have Leela, the housekeeper, if you want to interview her. Yeah. She's I'll the wonder. one that kind yeah. of found... Yeah, because I wanted to get with you guys first and then get with her right. to get her statement before I even do anything. Well, this, I'm the charge and this is what has happened. Okay. You can interview the nurse that had her, Okay. the two nurses that were taking care of her. You can talk to the tech, which is Lori. She's the one that went in there and actually found it because we was like, this is really heavy. Okay. So then uh, Lori went in there, and then of course the baby was underneath the red, uh, clean liner. Okay. Yeah. If the, we can if we can speak with Lori. Okay. I'll get Lori and I'll get. So, so, officer, so, the first thing though is I need to make sure that the the mother, the woman who delivered the baby, is medically stable. Right. Uh -huh. Um, I don't know if she delivered a placenta. She's bleeding a lot. I just got her accepted to Loveless, okay. so I need to get her up there as soon as possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how I need to tell her what's going on, and I need to tell the mother what's going. On. Mother, they're both in there together. Uh -huh. Do would, is one of you willing to be, be present for that conversation? Yeah. Or, no, I'll go down there. Are you just going? Yeah. Okay, let's yeah, go right sure. now. Well, we're doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure Lila comes down. All the other nurses and stuff are here, and I'll get Lila here. Okay. Hey, um, Marina, will you get Lila back down here? Marina. at Loveless, they want her up there as soon as possible. Okay. I, need, I need your, I obviously need your permission to transfer her for medical. She needs she's to be 19. Right. Oh, you're right. You, but you, she is a student too. She's not still a 19 teacher. You're old. right. You, you're right. She needs to, I'm sorry, I forgot she's 19. But you need to, for, to make sure that you're safe, I need to send you to Loveless to labor delivery. Will you please agree to that? Yes. 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 I, okay, I great. I'm going to work on that. Um, in terms, I'm sorry about this, but in terms of delivering um, a baby and it looked like you tried to hide it, you do have to have the police involved. And that thing was crying. It came out with that thing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for autopsy and uh, there'll be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But we need to do this correctly um, and I want to be transparent with you about what our steps are going to be. 
Officer, do you need to do this need to talk to her before we get her transferred? How long is it going to be before you have the transfer? I don't know. Are we working on? Okay. Uh, Maria, do so. you think 20, 30 minutes? Yeah, hopefully. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. I got I got detectives on the way, so they're, okay. they're going to be talking for. Okay. Do you guys have, I'm the charge nurse, do you guys have any questions for me? Like how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nine months? Nothing was crying. Let's see. I will let the computer guy, Jonathan, give you the details. Alexi Treviso, 19, also was charged with tampering with evidence. According to a criminal complaint filed in Eddy County in southeastern New Mexico, Treviso went to the emergency room in late December for back pain, and lab tests showed she was pregnant and in labor, according to Artesia police. Treviso then locked herself in a bathroom, where she gave birth to a boy Jim The baby had died and Treviso had left the hospital, investigators said. An autopsy listed the cause of death as a homicide. Gary C. Mitchell, an attorney for Treviso, said Thursday that his client has no criminal record and should not be facing a murder charge. He said there are major discrepancies about what happened in the hospital and this isn't a classic child abuse case. Treviso was arrested May 11th. Jail records show she was released May 16th. It's the second high-profile case involving a mother and a newborn baby in New Mexico lately.